my name is April and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some awesome sweater boots. Here are the materials you'll need. A pair of flats. You can buy new ones or use an old pair at home like me. The flats I'm using are from Rite Aid. You're also going to need a knitted sweater material. I recommend using a thicker, heavier knit like mine so it'll be warmer and keep its shape. I found this knitted blanket at a thrift store so if you're wondering where to look, definitely go thrifting for some large sweaters. Next you'll need some yarn of your choice, some hot glue, and your sewing supplies. Let's get started. Put the fabric on fold and mark the size of your flats. Then draw out a boot shape and extend the top however tall or short you want your boots. If you're worried about drawing this, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always alter them later. If you have bigger calves, keep in mind to give yourself some extra room, but the good thing about knits is that they stretch. After you cut out the boots, sew along the front with a wide zigzag stitch. At this point, you can use your creativity to decide what you want to do with the top of the boots. I just decided to hem the raw edges. Next, cut a long strand of yarn and play around with some designs so you know how much yarn you need. I decided to go with a simple tie on the side of the boots to help keep the boots from sliding down. Distribute the yarn evenly around the boots and sew it down, leaving two long strands hanging. Next, put on your flats and trim the bottom of the boots so you have just enough to fold under. Now is the fun part where we get to hot glue. Take your hot glue gun and glue right at the bottom edge of the canvas. Then fold the knit underneath to create a clean edge and press it down on the glue. By doing this, we are hiding the original shoe. I find it easier to glue while wearing the shoe, but when I get to the back side, I take off the boots and finish gluing the rest of it. After you're done, go back and tuck in yarns that are sticking out and re-glue them down to give the boots a really clean finish. The rest of this tutorial is up to you. Don't be afraid to add some buttons or fluffy yarn balls to these winter boots. I'm sure you guys will be even more creative than me. As always, I'd love to see your cute boots so don't forget to tag me on Instagram and follow me on Facebook for more sneak peeks of tutorials. Thanks for watching!